I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I guess I might as well unpack. Alex, do I want to know? Guess I kind of gave Anita and Eduardo. Wow, Gabe's been looking for me for a while. So Gabe and Riley have been working on her interview and Mac thought they were sleeping together? This is fucking stupid. Broadcasting straight from your local record store. Because how fucking cool is that? At least I held it together in front of Ryan and Steph. Broadcasting straight from your local record store. Because how fucking cool is that? Whoa, looks like Ryan turned my brother into a model citizen. Holy shit, it looks like Gabe actually read this. I'm really happy for you, Gabe. Charlotte made this? Gabe mentioned she was an artist, but I didn't realize he meant, like, professionally. I could never make something so personal. Must be Ethan's. Wonder how many times Gabe's been forced to play. Wait, what? Is that a real live dead deer? Gabe hunting. <laughs> I'd never have guessed. Gabe brushing up on comics and art, really going the extra mile for Ethan and Charlotte. Is that a sword? We didn't even get to finish the song. No way. Gabe has this photo too? Look at our parents. Mom's healthy. Dad's only kind of a...
Oh god. Shushu's gonna look so grungy on this nice bed. She's gotten me through some hard times, but I was hoping we were done with that. Ethan's really talented. Makes sense that his mom's an artist. never heard back from at least she cared i really wish those meds had worked chelsea the rare bright spot from my time in the group home i hit gabe because of this stupid mess what an honor to be the sister of the rubber duck derby second place finisher Yes, I Anita and it Wow. Gabe's been looking for me for a while. Crazy how much we've changed. It's really nice that Gabe and I both held on to this photo. We've seen things, haven't we, Shushu? My journal. Time to add my latest meltdown. Ugh. I'll finish this later. No fucking way. Well, Alex, you just went nuts and beat the shit out of somebody in front of your brother. So, how are you feeling right now? When you were here before, couldn't look you in the eye. Dressed like an angel Your skin
skin makes me cry You float like a feather In a beautiful world I wish I was special You're so very special But I'm a creep I'm a weirdo What the hell am I doing here? I don't belong here Whatever makes you happy Whatever you want You're so very special God, I wish I was special But I'm a creep I'm a weirdo What the hell am I doing here? I don't belong here I don't belong here You and your damn surprises, Gabe. Being here is too good to be true. I'm not gonna let anything mess it up. I should go downstairs and set things right with Gabe. I know I kicked the drywall crack when I see one. Did he get this up here? Gabe looks like he fits right in. Brian, just forget it. Stop that. You need to take care of yourself. 
got Mac patched up. Let's take a look at you now. Oh, looks pretty nasty right about here. <laughs> So, it hurts when you breathe? Alex, you made it. Charlotte, right? I'm sorry you had to see that fight. What a terrible first impression. Dad, I'm taking Gabe to the station. We need a first aid kit that doesn't predate the discovery of bacteria. It's fine. I don't need to go... Ryan knows what he's doing. Now you just go with him. (sighs) Alex, I'll be back soon, okay? Okay. Well, there goes my bartender and my backup bartender. I love that. It's a falling star? Yeah. Or rising. Depends on the day, I guess. So, what's it doing today? Wow. (laughs) I... Don't know. Today's been a roller coaster so far. I can imagine. I heard Ethan gave you an issue of his comic. He obviously thinks you're really cool. I know literally nothing about kids, but he seems like one of the good ones. I appreciate that. He's my favorite person. Beef pie special. Watch the gravy. Jed, you didn't have to. Now, Ryan said you're skipping dinner. No starving artists on my watch. I do have to get going. I'm making some pieces for the spring festival, and they have to be done tonight. Sorry I couldn't talk longer. That's okay. So glad you're here, Alex. I'm looking forward to getting to know you. Yeah, same. Bye. Thanks for supper. Yep. So I'm short-staffed at the moment. Gabe tells me you've worked at a restaurant before. A couple years' experience as a server? Uh... Maybe not as long as that, but yeah. I've done lots of things. You want to work a shift? See if you might like it here? Sure. All right. So we have a few folks that need checking on. Ducky and Diane over there. Steph over here. Uh, There's a table in the back that needs clearing also. You can give the food orders to me, and I'll handle anyone here at the bar. All right? Got it. It's really nice to have you here, Alex. Thanks. Guess I'm a server now. (laughs) Let's see how this goes. Can I get you to anything? Miss Chen, here at last to relieve our suspense. Hi. I am Reginald McAllister, the third, ducky to friends, former entrepreneur, now retired. And this young woman is Diane. Hey there. Nice to meet you. I didn't realize that... Uh, that we all knew you were coming? Yes, Gabe is generous with uh, both friendship and information. You're from Portland, right? I moved here from D.C. six months ago. How are you finding the small town thing? I didn't really know what to expect, but it's kind of perfect. (laughs) It feels like a home. I know, I know. I really thought I would hate it. Then I saw the mountains, met some people... And now I'm never leaving. Diane is a geologist, recently working as a process manager for Typhon Mining. I'm glad there's another newbie around here, too. K. 
Can I get you anything? Oh, yeah, we're super hungry. I'd love a pie special with fries. Cheeseburger with mushrooms and my usual to drink. Jed will know what to do. All right, I'll go put that order in. Thanks. My dad was in the service. That's Charlotte's dispensary. She seems cool. Hey, Jed. Yeah? I've got an order from Ducky and Diane. Go ahead. One cheeseburger with mushrooms. Uh Uh-huh. And? One pie special with fries. Ducky asked for his usual? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he's fond of a particular rye whiskey. I keep a personal bottle for him. Oh, that's odd. I don't see it. Oh, now wait. I bet Ducky took that bottle upstairs last night. Yeah, he and Gabe went on carousing long after closing. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Serves him right if you ask me, but feel free to go upstairs and look for it. I'm sure he'd be grateful. Oh, if you can't find it, Deputy Pike was with him. Might have some idea. He's usually in here around now. Probably arriving soon. There must be something around the Black Lantern that can help me find Ducky's prized whiskey. Wow. Tetanus anyone? I hope Brian's got better supplies. Not a bad company. Sweet jukebox. I'll have to check out the song sometime. What a class act. That looks radioactive. Alex, right? I'm Steph. Hey. Just seeing if you need food or anything. Oh no, I'm good. Thanks though. Sorry I couldn't hang out at the record store. I've got some time now though if you want to chat. Is that record store inventory? (laughs) No, it's character stats. Do you know what a LARP is? I've heard the term before. Live action role play. It's like a tabletop role playing game, but acted out in real life. Costumes, foam weapons, beanbag spells. It's great. (laughs) Gabe was talking about a LARP with Ethan. Yeah, it's next week. They're coming with me. It's their first time. I'm so excited. (laughs) Would you ever want to join us sometime? Sure, I'd try it. If you and Gabe both like it, it must be super fun. Awesome. So are you, um, here with somebody? Or? That's Ryan's stuff. Apparently he ditched me for Gabe. They went to get first aid. Being a hero again. Ryan's always doing that. (laughs) It's a Luke and family thing. Have you heard about Jed's rescue? It was a big deal. Back when he was a minor, he saved... I can't imagine. Alex wants an earload of Haven trivia just now. Sorry, Jed. He doesn't like to brag, but there's stuff about it all over the place if you look. Interesting. Is that your shot? What is that? This is bedazzled kiwi schnapps. 
No one's ever ordered it, so Gabe's trying to get rid of it with the jukebox game. What's a jukebox game? It's like a short version of 20 questions where you're trying to guess a song, guess wrong, you have to take the shot. <laughs> Ryan and I were going to play. You want to take his place? Dude, you're on. <laughs> yes. So, I'll pick a song. You have five yes or no questions before you have to guess it. Okay. Got one. Jukebox is all yours. So, what do you want to ask me? Hmm. I should flip through these and see what might be good to ask. So how long have you been a fan? So, I guess we're breaking the yes or no questions only rule. Can you handle it? Okay, how long have I been a fan? Maybe a year. Honestly, I just have a crush on the basis. <laughs> so now I know it's a band and not a solo artist. Touche, Chen. Does the song have a long title, like four words or more? Yes. Interesting. Is there an animal on the cover art? Uh, no, no animals. Ugh, too bad. Some of these are really cute. I know, right? You've got two questions left. Does the band name have a symbol in it? Like something that's not just a letter? Oh, yeah, it totally does. Nice. Last question. Yeah, all right, I know. So does the song title have a curse word in it? (laughs) A curse word? Would that offend you? Answer the question. (laughs) No curse words in the title, ma'am. That's your five. Ready to guess? Yeah. Let me look through one last time. Here's what I know. The band name does have a symbol in it. No curse words in the song title. The song title is at least four words long. No animals on the cover. The song is by a group, not a solo artist. Think that's enough to figure it out? We'll see. Here's what I know. The band name... Is it that one? No, it's not. Sorry. All right. Glitter drink me. It's not as bad as it looks. (laughs) How was it? It's actually delicious. (laughs) You should try one. (laughs) 
Hey, thanks for playing. I'm really glad we did. Me too. I should get back to work. Okay. There must be something around the Black Lantern that can help me find Ducky's prized whiskey. It wasn't even on me. But I guess it started vibrating in my locker when I was on duty. Yeah, there's sticklers about that stuff. My extensive wilderness map reading knowledge tells me that there is a whole lot of wilderness around here. I mean, sure, but... Oh, is that really Ryan? It's not like the CIA or whatever. We blow the tops off mountains for a living. Look, I hear you, kid. I've been jumping through Typhon's hoops since Noah built the Ark. But things are the way they are. Sure, I know. I'm just venting. You still want to hit the trails later this week? You kidding? I've been waiting for this all year. I have a few favorites we can start with, and then we'll go from there. Teller's Peak? Yep. And Mount Huron, and the Devil's... Unusually personable staff? Nicely done, big bro. Is there anything this woman can't do? Shit. Now Mac's scared. At least he's not freaking out anymore. He won't make me lose control. Coupons for weed? What a time to be alive. How mysterious. Wow, I messed Mac up pretty good. Holy shit. Can I talk to you real quick? What do you want? Listen. What happened upstairs was fucked up, right? From both of us. Where are you going with this? Look, Riley's headed over here. She's pretty heated. I, I, I don't think it helps to recap all the gory details, you know? So you're saying you want me to lie to cover your ass? No. No, just, like, let me handle it. Look, she's gonna break up with me otherwise. We've been together four years. She is the best thing that's ever happened to me. So please, help me out. I don't know, man. Shit. What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh my god. Look at your face. No, it's okay. Don't even. What were you thinking? Where's Gabe? Why do you give a shit? Because my boyfriend just got into a fight with him. I swear, this is it. You better have a good explanation or we're done. It's it's not my fault. I just wanted to talk to the guy. About what? About you. About 
why you guys are meeting behind my back. Okay. So how did the fight happen? The bastard sucker punched me. Okay, um, not exactly sucker punched, but he definitely started it. Oh God, were you there too? Yeah, I was there, but um, I need to get back to work. Sure, Alex. We'll uh, we'll get out of your way. I can't believe you two. It sounds so childish. I know. I'm sorry. I just get so worked up thinking of you with him. Alex Chen. Uh. So. You were there when your brother assaulted Mac Loudon? I'm Jason Pike, Deputy Sheriff. I'm gonna have to take you and your brother in for questioning. Mac assaulted Gabe. He's the one you want. <laughs> your face. <laughs> you should see your face. Oh, jeez. <laughs> No, I'm only kidding. Uh, nobody's in trouble here. <laughs> Gabe and I just like to prank each other. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been pranked by a cop before. <laughs> you definitely got me. <laughs> Thanks for being a good sport. Can I buy you a drink? Um, maybe. I'm working right now. Well, I'll be at the bar. You want one, you just come by, okay? Are you finished up with everything you want to do? Yeah, I took care of everything you mentioned. Is there anything else you'd like me to do? Nah, the boys should be back soon. Speak of the devil. How you feeling? Not great. Not awful. I got Alex covering for you. For real? We need to talk. I'll be on the rooftop, okay? Okay. I think that's enough for today. You did great work. You'll be a damn fine addition to our team. You can't keep an injured man waiting. You better go upstairs. Thanks. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Time to talk to Gabe. How's your jaw? Is the pain bad? Look, Gabe, I'm really sorry. I... Do you have a 
cooler under there? I like to hide beers around the house. Because, well, you never know. You never know what? You just never know. So, need a manager for your underground cage fighting career? Gabe, I'm really sorry. How many bones have you broken? Like, on other people? Dude, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. Don't apologize. I'm fine. Now that we're talking about it, I guess I never realized. That I'm a crazy person? No, come on. I never realized what your life must have been like. On, on your own. It was fine. You know, when I pulled you off the Mac and you hit me, I, I was angry. Then I thought about how you took him apart. Like you've done it before. Didn't you go to juvie? Isn't that like prison? Yeah. That was the hardest time of my life. Some days that. I didn't think I'd make it out. But I get the feeling you've been through worse. I can tell there's something going on with you. Something troubling you. Maybe it's time you open up. I want to talk to Gabe, but what can I even say right now to explain what happened with Mac? There's something off about me. I know what other people are feeling. I can see these auras around them. And if they feel strongly enough, if they're angry or sad or afraid, I feel it too. And then I lose control. And this has happened? For a long time. Like Mac. I felt all that anger like it was my own. I think it was pretty clear that Mac was angry. It's more than that. He wasn't just angry at you. He's angry at himself. He thinks he's going to lose Riley. Did Riley tell you that? No. No one told me that. I just... feel it. You sure it's not just... you know... It's not just in my head, Gabe. I promise. It's not from meds, or stress, or trauma, or whatever. It's real. Can you tell what I'm feeling right now? I 
You're feeling like you need a lot more beer. <laughs> That's true most of the time. <laughs> I don't expect you to believe me. No one does. So you can actually feel what other people are feeling? Yes. You're like going inside their heart. I guess I am. Dude, you have superpowers. <laughs> You're fucking with me, right? I'm serious. Did you listen to anything I just said? This is terrible. Okay, okay, maybe superpowers is a bit strong. It's just... I have no idea what's going on with people half the time. Charlotte's teaching me how to improve my emotional intelligence, but this, this is on another level. You can get in there. I mean, that's, that's really special. I'm not special, Gabe. I beat the shit out of people. I'm broken. I'm not saying it's all sunshine and tulips. But you're strong. You could turn this whole thing into something incredible. But it doesn't matter what's going on. I'm here for you. Don't forget that. So, when were you going to tell me about the guitar? Oh, shit. You found it. It was supposed to be a huge surprise. Surprise? <laughs> well, what do you think? I love it. Thank you so much. Of course. Welcome home. Oh, hey, dude, what's up? Hey, is Ethan up here? No, he was heading home. He was, but I haven't seen him in a while. I told him not to wander off. I'll find him. Gabe, wait. Earlier, when I was talking with Ethan, he told me he was hiking up the mountains to explore the old mine. What? Why didn't you say something? I'm sorry. If he actually went up there, we need to move now. Okay, let's go. <laughs> <laughs>